it has been a while since I bought this 3D printer and I know it sounds strange, but it's like an old wine. It's just getting better and better every year on, and therefore it has deserved a facelift. We are going to place a 3D printer to a stand, add handles on the sides, mount an AC power splitter and integrate my old 7 inch tablet for easy controlling and printing. You may find and download all parts in my description box in this video. Before you start, make sure your stand is well covered with masking tape. Mark positions and start drilling holes. We are using AM3 bolts. During implantation, you have to be careful to ensure that bolts hold all the parts together well. If you have a card reader in your 3D printer, you may skip the next step. With a card reader, you can easily transfer your files to a printer, so I don't need a computer or a tablet for printing. But since I have had this Nexus 7 tablet laying around, I decided to use it for a greater good. Nexus 7, the first generation tablet, is perfect for such a job. Since printing could take hours, an additional power source is acquired. Nexus has pogo pins which can be easily accessed and used for powering up with DC 5V 1.5A. Now the tablet behaves as a control screen for 3D printer by using OTG USB adapter. You may control all motors and print G-codes files out of it. Here are all the models I have implemented to this project. Please check the description box for downloadable links. After all, we are all together in an open source project, and sharing is caring. I hope you enjoyed this video, make sure you also check out my other projects, please subscribe because it's for free and you give me a huge support with this. And I'll see you in the next video.